Hi, this is Doodling Debbie again with another Silhouette Studio tutorial. A friend of mine sent me a link to the tutorial on the Silhouette blog and I thought it would be a great idea to make a visual tutorial for YouTube so you can look at it and see how it's done. First of all, we're going to create a circle. And then I duplicated that circle and it's up over here and you'll find out why later. Okay, now that we have our circle we want to add our font to it because we're going to create a path. So I'm just going to click right over here and I'm going to type in happy and right here you see this little circle with a little toggle you want to just drag this down over the top of your circle and I like the spacing there and then I'm going to go over here and type birthday and we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to drag to the bottom of the circle. And I'd like the letters spread out a little bit more. So we're going to go here to character spacing. And you can't see it very well because I had to minimize this so much. But you just click and I'm going to get it spaced out a little bit more. And then I can move this around here. Balance that out. There we go. Okay, now that this is done, we're going to get rid of the circle, but first we're going to select this type. Hold your shift key down and select this type. And we're going to right click and click on Make Compound Path. There we go. Okay, now this circle is turned gray. We're just going to slide it up here you can so you can see it better. And I'm going to just hit Delete and get rid of that. Now that other circle that we um, duplicated is up here over the top and I'm going to take this and set it right here. Then go up to your icon and we are going to do an offset. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click internal offset. Now I want to change the distance a little bit so I'm going to do that right there and then hit apply. Okay, the next step is to select both of these circles holding the shift key down again and this can be sometimes a little complicated. They're both selected. I want to right click again and once again select make compound path. Now that we've got that done I'm going to blow it up so we're going to show what we do with the slice tool. When I go to make a cutting file for this or whatever, I don't want all of this. If you if if you would just weld this together, it would look a mess. So we're going to go over here to the slice tool, and I'm going to take some of this out. So I'm going to put a slice here, grab that slice tool again, go over here, slice, and then we can just delete this, and we're going to do this kind of like, oops, grab the eraser. Okay, do this again. We're going to slice it right here and grab the slice tool. I'm just going to do a portion of this for you right now so you can get an idea since my time constraints are limited to the file size of these videos. So we'll just do happy for now. And I'll show you the finished one. So as I'm going through here, you get an idea of how to get rid of these. And then um, when I'm done, I'll show you the final results. And delete that. Trying to make these really fast can be kind of hard sometimes. And delete that. Okay, now I'm going to minimize this again so we can just see what I've done. Like I said, I'm not going to do the birthday, but you can add embellishments on here uh, like this. And then when you're totally done getting rid of all those extra points that you need, you want to select the entire thing and then go down here and click on Weld. Now you see how my happy turned out, but by not removing all of the points, I've got lines going through here through the birthday, so it would look a lot better if I did that. I'm going to just click over here real quick to show you the finished results. 
there you go. That's how you do it. I hope this was a fun tutorial. Get in there, play around, and create, create, create. Silhouette is just wonderful, and the new Silhouette Studio software, I just want to give it applause every day. Thanks for watching. Bye.